As enthusiast vehicles go, nothing is as versatile as the hot hatchback. Roomy, efficient, agile, fun to drive, and affordable, these cars are the original do-everything vehicles. And the Volkswagen GTI is the vehicle that got it all started. It is the granddaddy, the progenitor, the original choice if you valued having fun as much as you valued versatility. How does it look? Based on the standard Golf, the five-door GTI adds its trademark red grille surround along with more aggressive front and rear fascias, dual exhaust, and 18-inch wheels. It's handsome and clean, a hot hatch that rejects the Fast and Furious treatment. How's the storage? The GTI's five-door body is a boon to versatility. Open the trunk, and there's 22.8 cubic feet of cargo space with the rear seats up. The rear hatch opens tall, and the bumpers are nice and low, so it's easy to load. Door pockets, ample cup holders, and a roomy center console are all here. It's not hard to find a space for all your stuff in the GTI. Is it roomy? With 93.5 cubic feet of passenger space, there's ample room for five adults on a short drive. It's much more comfortable with four, though. All passengers have an abundance of headroom, while the second row's 35.6 inches of leg space is enough for road tripping, particularly if the driver is shorter. How does the interior feel? Volkswagen has cheapened some of the interiors on its newer models, but the Golf and the GTI haven't been victim to these penny-pinching measures yet. Throughout the cabin, there are soft touch materials. And look at this, plaid seats. Is it well equipped? Our base Golf GTIS has some nice stuff, like heated front seats and a rear view camera, but it's not lavish by any stretch. There's no active safety gear, the headlights have LED accents but halogen main beams, and the climate controls are manual. Upgrading that stuff means moving up to the SE or Autobahn. How's the infotainment system? The GTI's standard 6.5-inch touchscreen has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Bluetooth connectivity, but it feels a generation behind. The touchscreen itself is responsive, but it's not especially pretty, feeling more low-res than newer systems on the market. Is it a good daily driver? GTI's entire existence is predicated on it being a good everyday car. The visibility is excellent, the seats are extremely comfortable, and even the ride with these 18-inch wheels and low-profile tires is compliant and comfortable. The sight lines fore, aft, and laterally are very, very good. You can see everything that's happening around you, so the lack of a blind spot monitoring system in this car isn't a big issue. Is it fun to drive? Yes, <laughs> it's very fun to drive. The GTI is the original hot hatch. It's built to be fun to drive first and foremost. The engine has plenty of power. The steering is fast and, and really direct. And my favorite part is this transmission. It's just built so that you can do rev match downshifts just for giggles. It's a great, great gearbox, it's a great engine, and it's a hell of a lot of fun through the corners. How's the fuel economy? At 25 miles per gallon city, 33 highway, and 28 combined, the GTI is reasonably efficient for a sporty car. But real world testing tells a better story. On long freeway runs, it's easy to exceed the GTI's highway fuel rating by four to five miles per gallon in our experience. How much is it? 
Our GTIS starts at $26,415. And aside from the exterior color, the only choice is between the no-cost six-speed manual and the $1,100 dual-clutch automatic. The six-speed auto is good. Let's save the money and grab the manual. What are the negatives? Grabbing a well-equipped Golf GTI means spending a fair amount of money. If you want blind spot monitoring and Xenon headlights, well, you'll need the $31,000 GTI SE. And if you want adaptive cruise control and other goodies like that, you'll have to pony up almost $36,000 for the GTI Autobahn. Meanwhile, our $26,000 GTI S doesn't even have push button start. Who should buy it? The short answer is everyone should buy a GTI. The original was designed to drive like a sports car without any of the compromises, and the current model carries on that tradition. For customers that need space, efficiency, or a fun to drive attitude, the Volkswagen GTI is still the best choice around.